Hi again everyone. In this video we are going to be doing Cisco Packet Tracer 3.2.2.4 titled Configuring Trunks. We did this quickly in my last video right at the end, kind of an extra on that last packet tracer. We're going to go ahead and do this packet tracer that's focused on configuring trunks. So to begin we will open our packet tracer file and see our pre-configured network here. Should look familiar. A um, little bit of background. Um, trunks are required to pass VLAN information between switches or across switches. A port on a switch is either an access port or a trunk port. The access ports will carry traffic from specific VLANs assigned to the port. A trunk port, by default, is a member of all VLANs, so it can carry traffic for all VLANs instead of just one specific VLAN. So this activity is going to focus on creating trunk ports and assigning them to a native VLAN other than the default, which is one. So to begin, we're going to jump into switch one. And we are going to come to our CLI and take a look at the current VLANs. Actually, before I even begin this, I have played around with this a little bit. I'm going to reset it back to its original state. And then we will go ahead and do that. So, in switch 1 CLI, we want to issue a show VLAN brief command. And then take a look at the VLANs that are currently created and set up on this. So we have our VLAN 1 default with all the ports assigned to it. And then we have our other VLANs created, but nothing assigned. And if we look through this, it looks like all of our ports are displaying, which means we don't have anything set up for trunking yet. Once you set a port for trunking, it will no longer display here. So part B here is on switches 2 and 3. Um, display and verify all the VLANs are configured and assigned to the correct switch ports according to this addressing table. So you'll make sure that all the PCs are corrected to the connected to the correct ports. And double check the VLANs. So feel free to pause the recording here and go ahead and double check all of that. and we will go ahead and move on. Step two is to verify the loss of connectivity between PCs on the same network. So although PC1 and PC4 are clearly on the same network, they're not able to ping one another. This is because they're assigned, the ports they're connected to on the switches are assigned by default to VLAN 1. So to provide connectivity between the two PCs, we need them to be on a trunk, basically. We need to configure a trunk so that PCs on the same network will be able to communicate across these switches. So if you want to, you can go ahead right now, ping from PC1 to PC4, and it will fail. You'll get the request timed out. We're going to skip that and jump straight to configuring the trunks. So on S1, we are going to configure the gig switches or the gig ports for trunking to our other switches. And we can do them simultaneously by doing the interface range G01-2 until it's switch port mode trunk, and then part B says to configure VLAN 99 as the native VLAN. So we can do that directly, let me clear that up, there we are, by doing switch port native VLAN 99. So that way we set up both ports at the same time, and it'll take a moment for that to become active we can go ahead and hit the fast forward time and then we should be good to go. Well, I 
did we have here? Native VLAN mismatch. Ah, so these errors are showing us that we have configured the native VLAN for 99 on switch 1, but switches 2 and 3 have not been configured to match that yet. So we will go ahead and take care of that in just a minute. Um, part C for this activity says basically what I just explained, that switches 2 and 3 are still using VLAN 1 as the default native VLAN. Um, so we have that mismatch with that error that I just showed you. But we do have pinging um, between PCs on the same VLAN now. And we can verify that by pinging from PC1 to PC4. Do a ping over to 172.17.10.24. So even with that mismatch, our pings are successful. So we're getting some communication between our computers on the same VLAN. And this is basically because switches 2 and 3 are allowing trunking from VLAN 1s through, I think, 1005. And we can double check that here. check our VLANs here. I think I'm pretty sure it's 1005 there, so everything through 1005 will be enabled. And we'll do a show interface trunk to verify that. Yep, so 1 through 1005 are allowed. And so we just verified that on switch 2. We'll do the same thing on switch 3. that same command, show interface trunk. Make this just a little bit bigger. And we can see that VLANs are allowed, 1 through 1005 are allowed to trunk. Even with that mismatch that it's still like, giving us that error for. So, step two, as we move down the instructions, is to correct the native VLAN mismatch. And we're going to start with switch two. And all we have to do is assign the gig port one to native VLAN 99. So we'll come into that interface. We'll do switch port native VLAN 99. So our port consistency is restored. We no longer have that mismatch. And then we're going to want to do the same thing on switch 3. And note that it's on the gig interface number 2. And it should also clear up that error that we keep getting. We can verify that on both switches by issuing the, we'll come out of the interface and issue the show interface trunk command. And we'll see that on switch two, it's the gig one is set up for trunking on VLAN 99 as the native VLAN. Let me open that up, there we go. So now we can see it. And then switch 3 will be the same, but it'll be on gig port number 2. Open that up first, and come out of here, and show interface trunk. And so, there it is, gig port 2, native VLAN 99, set up for trunking. Alright, and then we can verify the configurations on 2 and 3 by issuing the show interface and then the trunked interface. So on switch 2, it's gig 1, and then switch port. And we can see switch port is enabled, dynamic auto administrative in trunk mode, 
with dot one Q encapsulation. And native mode to VLAN ninety nine. So we'd see expect to see the same thing for switch three on gig port two. You can go ahead and verify that. I'm gonna move on to part B. Use the show VLAN command to display information regarding configured VLANs. And so before when we did this, we saw that the every interface was assigned through here, through gig port one was assigned even to VLAN one. And now we see that gig port one is no longer displayed on switch two. And that's because it's set up for trunking, so it'll allow all of these across it, so it's not assigned to any one specific VLAN anymore. And you can verify the same thing on switch 3 by issuing the show interface G02 switch port to verify that we have set it up for trunking, VLAN 99 as the native, and then we'll do the show VLAN there to see that on switch 3, gig port number 2 is no longer displayed because it is set up for trunking. If we look at our completion, we've hit 80%, and we should have restored full communication across our network. So I think that covers it for this activity. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, and I'll see you in my next video.